some of us, Thanksgiving means laying around, gobbling up great food, but let's face it, dealing with kids, amped up on all the little desserts, Whoa. the 20 pound turkey from hell, the madcap mothers-in-law and shaky bank accounts, could mean absolute chaos. Mm -hmm. Here's a menu for holiday freaking heartache, one heaping portion of family feuding, an oven stuffer spiced with financial failures, and a bubbling cauldron full of food stress stew. Yep, taken together, cooking for an army of relatives, managing your money woes, and battling bitter bickering are perfect ingredients for the 2008 Thanksgiving blues. But if all that's starting to get you down, check out our studio guests and their expert tips for creating a happy home during the holidays. All right, we're going to go here from the queen of Southern cuisine, as I was saying earlier in the show, Paula Dean, in just a few moments with her recipes for a stress-free Thanksgiving. But first, please welcome, with some last-minute Thanksgiving advice, excuse me, the author of It's All About You, Life and Relationship Coach, Tana Barnes. You wrote that for me, right? Thank you, yes. <laughs> also here is financial expert, Sanika Calloway Boyce, our buddy. And from the Food Network's rescue chef, the adorable chef, Donnie Boom. Danny Boom, excuse me. Good to have you here. Okay. So we're just going to get right to it. We've got some audience questions. Boom. Question. Hi, Mike. Hi. <laughs> I'm traveling to Atlanta tomorrow to have Thanksgiving dinner with my sister. She is a better cook than I am, and she's somewhat of a show off. Oh. How can I curb sibling rivalry and oh. have a great Thanksgiving dinner? Donna, that's, common. that's for you. Oh, yeah. Actually, that's very common. And the thing is, is that you're stuck in this mode that you were in when you were a child. So as an adult, it's great if maybe you could call her tonight and say, hey, could we now readdress our relationship now that we're adults? I'm so proud of you for the things you do well. And I'd like you to be proud of me for the things I do well, and it's not a competition. That's a hard call to make. And it is. is. It you're is. You know, be on TV, and she's not, so you right, get to one up. Exactly. <laughs> and, and here's the other thing: no, if good. if she's not willing to readjust and, and negotiate, and she still wants to try to uh, uh, one up you, if you don't engage with her and you don't react to it, she'll lose the fun. I know, of doing but you know what? When I oh, whenever I do that, it's like you, it's still deep down, you're like, mm, it's it's like, like burning up. This does. Hang on. Well, <laughs> you should work with her. You should get in the kitchen with her and work with her and show her what you can do as well. I'll do my best. Or but, let her teach you. <laughs> but she is but she is a better cook than I am, I yeah. must admit. She's is she married? No. I can go with you. <laughs> <laughs> let her teach Michael. you a couple of things. Don't hit on women before the holiday. Why not? Thing. Thing. That's, That's true, joke. why not? Our next question is uh, an email from Rebecca from Mesquite, Texas. Rebecca writes, I was wondering how to make a juicy turkey. Whenever I make the turkey, it comes out dry. <sighs> Sounds like my chicken last night. What am I doing wrong? <laughs> what are we doing wrong, okay, Danny? The first thing is, what, what people do wrong is, A, they're not cooking it right. Okay, the first thing is put the turkey in there. You, who puts stuff in, in their turkey? Everyone in here? Yeah, maybe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> try fruit. It hydrates the bird. Okay, that's the first thing. Ooh, ah! Okay, so, you know, use some grapefruit, some oranges, stuff like that. Fill that cavity. The other thing is, when it comes out, let the bird rest. You know, like, if someone threw a bucket of cold water over you, what happens? You go, like this. Right. Same thing with heat. So when you, the bird comes out, let it sit. Let it rest, all right? And For the juices, 20, like, coagulate. They just, they just and just sit all down, they relax, and then you have this beautiful, <laughs> hydrated oh, bird. Know. And if you're... <laughs> Come on, wait, go to Chef Danny's house. Yeah, 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 really. Yeah. I've never heard of shoving fruit into the turkey cavity. I, I'm, have you, anybody ever heard Works of that? Works in most cavities, but definitely a turkey <laughs> cavity. All right, let's go out to the street for our next question. Hi, I'm Connie from Perrysburg, Ohio, and I was wondering if it's okay to ask family members to bring money to assist for Thanksgiving dinner this year. All right. Yes and yes. 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 It actually oh, really it is acceptable. Oh. It is. If you're cooking the meal and you're doing all of the work, it's acceptable to do one of two things. One, invite them to bring a dish or yes. ask them, would you be willing to contribute whatever you can comfortably afford? I think <laughs> it's absolutely acceptable. I mean, right now, it's like everybody's looking for a bailout plan, right? So yeah. play it like it's fun. Like, you know, hey, I need well, a little on, bailout Anna, plan of my Eli own. Eli didn't but turn around the thanks before. Thanksgiving meal with the pilgrims and say, now listen here, Jacob, I need <laughs> a bag of corn well, for this. What I want to see. No, no, no. What you got to see. It's a lot cheaper in those days, yeah. though. Now uh, it's much more. No. I was in the grocery store yesterday. The woman yeah, in front of me paid $50 for a turkey. Bring a pie. You can buy a pie. 
Well, buy a bottle of wine, bring a pie. You know, let's but that's what you guys, you're, you're basically agreeing. You're basically agreeing. You're yes. saying, agreeing. You're but saying, you want to do it in advance. Help out in some if, way. If you yes. can call, like, you know, tonight and say, hey, look, you know, I, I spent a lot of money. I'm having a hard time. Would you be willing to donate? Or so the answer, is, the answer is don't ask for actual count. Don't bring it, bring a 20, and then you right. can come in. Right. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> you, there's exactly. a cover the question charge. Yeah. Julia, you're whatever whatever you can comfortably you, afford. Is there a cover charge? Yeah. Of course. Oh, yeah. That's what I mean, because we have, like, the whole club. that. You better off going to a that's the end true. of the day. Everybody that's up here. true. Okay. Good luck with the Hello. Hi. <laughs> my question actually is, this is my first Thanksgiving I'm hosting, and me and my husband are really excited, but he's more excited to play football outside <laughs> than <laughs> inside with me. So my question is, how do I get him in, into the kitchen with me to help? Well, if you can have a little bit of fun with him, you'll you'll get a better reaction. You know, maybe make a compromise. Like, go out and really just get in his huddle with him and say, hey, I've got a winning plan. I can give you extra energy to win your game. You can come have snacks in the kitchen and you can help me out a little bit. Danny, it doesn't there. sound like Question. these guys no, should no, be no, in no, the no, kitchen. No, 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 no. no, 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 no